the number one group that's going to experience uh, lower levels of ferritin is premenopausal females that are active. In particular, if they are vegan or vegetarians, that's also going to increase the risk of having lower levels of ferritin. Um, and that's twofold, really primarily premenopausal females are losing blood every month. Um, and that drastically increases the iron demands that the body has. So females require, premenopausal females require about 10 milligrams more of iron per day than males do, um, which is a huge increase in itself. Um, add on top of that, if they're active, then there is some um, loss of blood that can happen in the friction of endurance activities. Um, nothing that you would really notice, but some internal bleeding that can cause blood loss, as well as when you are striking the ground, your heel strike, any red blood cells passing underneath your foot at the point of contact are susceptible to rupture, which means that your body is going to need to recycle those and utilize more iron in order to replace those red blood cells. Um, vegan and vegetarians, while it is certainly not impossible to get enough iron in your diet, it is a bit more difficult. There's two different forms of diet or of iron that you can find in the diet. The first one would be heme iron. That's typically what you're going to find in um, red meats, shellfish, um, any animal type protein that would provide um, iron. The other type, non-heme iron, is the type of iron that you get from plants. And that non-heme iron, before it can be absorbed in the body, has to be converted into the heme form. Um, so that's a difficulty in itself, is just that it has to go through an extra process for absorption. Um, also, the types of um, plants that provide non-heme iron are also pretty high in compounds that bind to iron um, and make it impossible for us basically to absorb it. So in particular, phytic acid that you find in legumes, which are a great source of iron, but the, a lot of that iron is unavailable to us, as well as spinach, which is really high in oxalic acid, which is another compound that binds things. Um, so coupling all of those things together, premenopausal active females that are vegan or vegetarians are really the number one group, but an iron deficiency is the number one micronutrient deficiency in the U.S., um, regardless of diet and level of physical activity.